Greetings and hello everyone, it's me, your ever-loving Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. I've been getting the question a lot lately, I mean, and I mean a lot. I, this year I started two free-to-play accounts separately. I started one back in February, got to level 85, played one round of Grand Arena, released it to somebody else, and they're now managing it. Now I just, I'm three weeks into a Jabba the Hutt free-to-play rush to see how long it takes to unlock Jabba free-to-play in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And along the way, I'm a huge proponent, and, and this is, by the way, this is not this the, the free-to-play Jabba account. This is my main Star Wars Dad free-to-play account, but along the way, I am a huge proponent of farming these Imperial Troopers early. I love these troopers. You know, they do a ton for me in Galactic War on a free-to-play account early. And they're honestly, they're they're viable until you get to the very end game. And they do assault bat, they do two assault battles for you. They do a great job. I'm a big fan of the Veers Imperial Trooper team. But I keep getting asked the question, why not an Iden Imperial Trooper team instead? And there's a few answers to that. There, there's several answers to that. Who is better? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, it, we all make our own decisions in this beautiful, wild world of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So everybody's got to make their own decision for what you're going to farm, what you're not going to farm, etc. But uh, I get asked the question, why are you using Veers and not Aiden? Because on my free-to-play account, I'll farm Aiden early. I do, the, I do this both times. I'm farming Aiden early because I want to get to the Vulture Droid because I want that in my lineup for my ships because I've got three Geo ships. It fits really well in there. And I farm her early and I put her in where Piet is right now in this squad. And then later on when I get Piet, I'll sub him in and I remove Aiden from the team. And then she may serve another purpose. She may not. But let's talk about these two teams and the, the benefits and pitfalls, ups and downs of both teams. Which one is better and why I always choose Veers over Aiden for the early game. Now what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to do a little gameplay. So... We don't get a lot of Aiden Versio gameplay on the channel just because I don't really use her. So I thought while we're talking about this, you guys can watch Aiden. Found a video on YouTube, her playing. It's a it's an under-leveled Aiden team against a max-level Mon Mothma team. And I don't know when this footage is from, but you can watch. Aiden is very, very effective. Now, let's take a look at her abilities versus General Veer's abilities. Let's start with Aiden Versio. We don't talk about her very much, but I think you're gonna see right away where you have to make some decisions with Aiden Versio and what you're farming. Let's take a look at her basic ability um, right here. I think, I, can I scroll this up? All right, well, you'll be able to see it. Deal physical damage to target enemy. If no other allies have the leader tag, Aiden deals damage two more times. For each critical hit, Aiden recovers 5% of health and protection. Great, she's doing double damage. She's recovering health and protection for each one. But you can't have any other allies with the leader tag. Let's look at push forward. Deal physical damage to uh, all enemies. Inflict vulnerable. Dispel all buffs. These effects can't be resisted by rebel enemies. If no other leaders ha allies have the leader tag. I guess I should have... Uh, Maybe been a little more careful about this, but here we go. If no other leaders, ha allies have the leader tag, call all other non-droid Imperial allies to assist. So you see, we can't have any other leaders. We can't have any other droid Imperial allies. Dispel all uh, debuffs on Imperial Trooper allies. She's awesome. She's a cleanse. Aiden gains protection up. All their Imperial allies, uh, Imperial Trooper allies gain protection up. Imperial Trooper allies recover 35% protection. You see, where this is where she fits really well as kind of a support to my Veers Imperial Trooper team, especially early on, giving me bonus protection, some extra protection, recover, moving debuffs, etc. If no other allies have the leader tag, all non-droid Imperial tag. What are you are you seeing the pattern here? Are you seeing the pattern? Imperial Trooper allies have plus 35% critical chance. This is her uh, leader ability. They all have 35% critical chance, offense and speed. At the start of the battle, if no other allies have the leader tag, whenever a non-droid Imperial Trooper asks, are you seeing, are you picking up what I'm putting down? This one starts with it. If all other allies have the leader tag and all allies are non-droid Imperial Troopers. So, what's our takeaway? Our takeaway is that Aiden Versio is pretty awesome. You're watching the gameplay down there. We're talking about what she does up here. Aiden Versio is an awesome team leader. However, you cannot use her with any other Imperial Trooper ally 
that has a leader tag. Now that's going to be General Veers, that's going to be Admiral Piet, and that's going to be Moff Gideon. And you can't really use her with any as a leader anyway. You can't really use her as a leader. Let's see, there you go. There's your Iden Versio gameplay just to show it off here because we never have it on the channel. You also are unable to, not unable, you can use her. You're just sacrificing like pretty much her entire kit. You can't have a droid Imperial Allied Trooper. So that leaves her with a limited range of the troopers you can use. Range Trooper, Snow Trooper, Storm Trooper, Magma Trooper, Death Trooper, and Shore Trooper. And also Colonel Stark can fit into that team as well. Now, what are the reasons that you might choose Iden Versio over General Veers? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, you could put Colonel Stark on our team. Colonel Stark is a very fast seven star farm. I have him to seven stars on my three week old account because you can farm him here for 200 of these Mark I raid currency every single day. Actually like four times a day. So you can get 40 shards a day for Colonel Stark, that means you can have him to seven stars in nine days. Math is hard. I think we're there eight plus days if you really focus on it. Um, Range Trooper is a regular energy farm. Snow Trooper, you're going to get through Bronzeums. I don't think he's available anywhere else. Let's take a look here. He's probably in a node somewhere. Well, I'm sorry. You can also farm Snow Trooper with that same Mark one currency so that's a fast farm and you get them from some bronzeums too stormtroopers available in the cantina shop so what you're going to see here is a lot of these characters magma trooper in the galactic war shop a lot of these characters that go with Aiden are going to be easier farms than the characters that go with veers because when you look at veers is a normal energy farm piet is a normal energy farm dark trooper and gideon are all normal energy farms i will have one caveat all these characters down here can be used with Veers as well with no repercussions. It's just that this is the best team. People sub Range Trooper in for Colonel Stark or Moff Gideon. I get it. You know, that works really well too. Death Trooper and Shore Trooper work as well, but they're just regular farms in different places. You're not farming them from any shops or anywhere else. So, you have an easier farming path to get Aiden activated. And I'm going to say, and I couldn't find any footage, I think that straight up at equal gear levels, Aiden will beat the Veers team. She just provides so many benefits to a trooper team. She does amazing, amazing work here. She does, she's just a really good character. When you throw that Omicron or when you put her into Galactic or Grand Arena, man, she's she's just even better. She is a bomber. She's awesome. Iden Versio is awesome. I can't say anything bad about her gameplay, about her function of game, about her ability to play defense, about the ability to make the other team use a big team on offense. Aiden is a banger, and I can't say anything about that. However, however, the characters that you farm for Aiden are not really used in any journeys, so there's not a long-term view on Aiden. Now, I wanted to look at this, and I forgot. I think that Stormtrooper is in the Lord Vader journey, isn't, isn't he? That might be the only one. Nope, no Stormtrooper. Yeah, so all of the characters... He's not in Sith Eternal, right? He's not in Sith Eternal. You, know, you don't need Stormtrooper here. So all of those characters that I just showed you, all those characters I just showed you for Aiden Versio, literally all of them, if we go back and look here, uh, including Death Trooper and Shore Trooper, none of those guys are required for any other journey farms in the game. You, these are just. This is a team that's going to be a banger team for you early on, but it just leads you nowhere. And that's a challenge for an early game player, especially a free to play player. If you're going to, if you got some money saved up and you want to spend it on the game, you want to find one team that's just really fun to invest in, does a lot of work for you on offense and defense in Grand Arena, that punches up, then Iden Versus would be, a, a, might be a really great investment for you. Okay. The problem is that the free to play player, we're always looking and and, and even light spenders, we're always looking for ways to diversify our roster. We want the roster to be useful not only for gameplay, but also to get us into more legendary journeys down the road, into more events, and get us more stuff in the game. We want that roster to be diverse, to have diverse functions in the game. And this Admiral, this Colonel Veers team really fits the bill. Dark Trooper, Moff Gideon, not so much. They don't fit anywhere yet, unless we eventually get a Mandalorian or Ahsoka GL somewhere down the road, whatever. They might fall in there, but... Right now, Veers and Stark 
are required, and I think Piet, all three of these guys are required for Sith Eternal Emperor, and Piet is required for the Executor. And as we all know, Executor for a lot of players, free to play, light spending, etc., is one of the very early targets. There you see Veers and Stark on the Sith Eternal journey. And if I go look, uh, I go here to Soldiers, you look at. Executor is an important target for free to play and light spending accounts. There he is, Piet right there in the Executor, in the Executor farm, Relic 8. Executor makes a huge difference on everyone's roster. It's the first fleet you should farm as a free to play player. It's not based on, compared to the other fleets to farm, it's not that hard of a fleet to farm compared to a lot of the other, in fact, compared to all of the other uh, journeys for Galactic Legends, because this is basically a fleet Galactic Legend. It's not as hard to farm. I guess you could say that maybe a Kylo or a Sith Eternal Emperor might be on the same footing as far as farming ability, but that Executor is going to get you moving ahead in Fleet Arena. Um, I'm just saying, that is the reason. That's the reason. I, again, I, there's Piet right there, uh, Relic 5 for Sith Eternal. For me, I when I get asked the question on it's almost on a daily basis or every time I publish a video about the update for my free to play account and I show that I'm farming the Iden Versio node because the Iden Versio node, I'll show it to you, I didn't show it before, has the Vulture Droid in here. This Vulture Droid is so important. If you're going to farm a Geo Fleet early, he's a great reinforcement, he, she, it, great reinforcement to come in off the bench, drop a bunch of buzz droids on the enemy, call in assists, assist, it's just a great separatist ship to have on there, doesn't require a pilot. And you end up with Iden Versio, who aids your early trooper team in the place where Piet is now. But once you get Piet farmed, she really fades away pretty quickly. But the thing is, this team has three characters that fit into two different journeys. Sith Eternal and Executor. And this team down here ain't got none of that. And I cannot put Veers and I cannot put Piet into the Iden Versio-led team. Because they will, they will nullify every single ability that she has there will be still be some ability there to get some extra protection and clear buffs that's it the rest of it is impacted negatively by imperial trooper leaders and droid imperial troopers and there you go that is to answer the question a lot of people have been asking me why veers and not aiden or should i do veers or aiden Again, Aiden's a great team. If you want to have some fun, Farmer, I just want you to be aware that she will not get you to Sith Eternal and she will not get you to Executor. And you're going to have to go farm these guys anyway at some point down the road. And there are your answers. Oh, and final answer. Yes, they're both amazing for Galactic War. For those early game players not yet at level 85 in Galactic War, both these teams are just maulers in Galactic War and will get you through on auto with no problem so there you go. That's it. I hope you have a great day. Let me know what you're farming down below. If you've got different ideas, if you think I'm off base with this farm, I'd like to hear about it. But that's my reasoning right there for all you guys that are asking. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. And always remember, Nooch too good.